Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2025-12, including Maven, general improvements and improvements for web development. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2025, three months ago. Java 25 support is now built in. Java 25 is the latest version and also a version for which all Java providers promise long-term support. The Eclipse IDE is shipped with Java 21, the previous long-term support version, as the Temurin JDK 25 is not yet available for Windows on ARM. So in order to code in Java 25, make sure that in the Preferences, Java, Install JREs, a Java 25 JDK that has been installed on your system is configured. In Java 25, there are two new final language features, flexible constructor bodies and module import declarations. With flexible constructor bodies, you can call super or this after other statements in a constructor. A module import declaration can replace several classic import statements. Type import module and hit control space to get a list of all available modules to choose from. Organize Imports, Control shift o does not add module import declarations, but removes unused module import declarations. If the type of the same name is contained in more than one imported module, a classic import statement is still required. Markdown comments can be used with Java 23 or higher. Templates for them can be specified for a project in Project, Properties, Java Code Style, Code Templates, or in general in the Workspace Preferences. If you prefer Markdown comments over the classic ones, enable Use Markdown comments where available at the bottom. This will give you Markdown comments when, for example, generating getters and setters. Voila! Here are the Markdown comments. In the Formatter profile, in the section Comments, the formatting can be enabled separately for Markdown Java Doc Comments and for Classic Java Doc Comments. Let's insert a break and a few spaces to see if the formatter removes them again. Which it actually does. In the Open Type dialog, Control Shift T, you can now use camel case filters. For example, you can type out mem for out of memory error. Previously, you had to manually insert asterisk wildcards between the camel case parts, but this is no longer necessary, unless everything is in capital letters. OME does not match out of memory error, unlike OOME or OM error. Camel case filters are handy, aren't they? The detection of errors and warnings has also been improved. In the past, the members of a deprecated class, such as fields, methods or nested classes, were handled as implicitly deprecated. But according to the Java language specification, this was not quite correct. Members of a deprecated class must be explicitly deprecated. This has been fixed. You will no longer get deprecation warnings for members of a deprecated class that are not deprecated themselves. But you may get warnings for unnecessary suppress warnings annotations that were added for these deprecation warnings shown by mistake. To make you aware of non-deprecated members of a deprecated class which are no longer handled as implicitly deprecated, the new problem info, the enclosing type, blah blah blah, is deprecated perhaps this member should be marked as deprecated too, will be displayed. Hit Ctrl-1 and use the new quick fix Add Missing Deprecated Annotation to add it. Alternatively, hit Ctrl-1 and choose Configure Problem Severity 
to disable worn when members of a deprecated type are not deprecated by changing its severity from info to ignore. This release also brings support for JUnit 6. When creating a new JUnit test case, with the option New JUnit Jupyter Test, you can choose to add JUnit 5 or JUnit 6 library to the build path. When debugging, you can now set a breakpoint for a specific lambda expression, even within a single line of chained lambda expressions. Right-click the left ruler and choose Toggle Lambda Entry Breakpoint. A dialog pops up with a list of all lambda expressions of that line. Choose one. Debug. And as expected, it stops at the entry of the chosen lambda expression. You can use toggle lambda entry breakpoint again to add another breakpoint for a different lambda expression. Or to remove a breakpoint added before in the same way. In the variables view, in the right click menu, there is the new item compare with clipboard to compare the stringified variable value with the content of the clipboard. Another new feature is the support of multi-release jar files. A multi-release jar contains, for backwards compatibility, all classes compiled for an older Java version, and in addition, for forward compatibility, variants of one or more of these classes compiled for a newer Java version. This can be done in the following way. Add a new source folder, in the build path, in the tab source, change the new release option from project default to 25. Apply this change. Go to the Java compiler settings. Decrease the compiler compliance level to 21. Hit Apply and Close. As you can see, errors show up in the class using Java 25 language features, since Java 21 is now used for the main code. Moving the file into the Java 25 source folders makes them disappear again. Let's create a Java 25 variant of the sample class by creating in the Java 25 source folder a new class with the same name. Let's add a default constructor with a print statement in order to see whether this class has been used or not. When running it, the output on the console proves that the new class is used. But by running it with Java 21 instead of Java 25, Nothing will be printed, since the default sample class is used. Multi-release jar files are also supported when using Maven. Eclipse automatically synchronizes the build path, compiler and other necessary project-specific settings based on what is specified in the POM XML file for the Maven compiler plugin. Uncommenting the part for the Java 25-specific source folders, automatically creates the folder and in the Java build path configures it for Java 25. Another improvement for Maven is that the Maven Enforcer plugin configuration is used to determine which JRE is to be used to run the tests. 
Beside monitor-specific UI scaling on Windows enhancements, there are two general platform improvements in the console view. First, in the Preferences, Run Debug, Console, you can configure the elapsed time format, for example, to display milliseconds, or to not show the elapsed time at all. Second, when opening a new console view, you will now be prompted to automatically pin both the active and newly opened console views to ensure that their contents remain visible during output processing. This is useful when running more than one application in parallel in order to pin a console to a specific application. Otherwise, when the console is not pinned, the console switches to the application of the latest output. Support for the latest web technologies is provided by Eclipse Wild Web Developer, which can be installed if it is not already included in the IDE package that you are using. TypeScript is now supported up to version 5.9, offering new language features such as import defer. The tooling for both JavaScript and TypeScript has been enhanced, for example, for more granular checks of the branches of a return statement. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2025. Thanks for watching and happy coding!